Hello, my name is Elizabeth McIver and I decided to do my project on root knot nematode. I wanted to do my project on root knot nematode because before this class I had only ever heard about the nasty infections that humans can get from nematodes, so I was really interested when I found out that plants can be affected as well. According to the authors Mikowski and Abawi who wrote root knot nematodes in the Plant Health Journal, nematodes account for an estimated 14% of all worldwide plant losses which translates into almost $100 billion annually. Root knot nematodes come from the pathogen Meloetogyne and are by far the most common and destructive nematode pathogens. Meloetogyne have an extremely wide host range and it's likely that some root knot nematodes can survive on hundreds of different plant species. Therefore, it can be extremely difficult to control a root knot nematode problem. The underground symptoms on root on plant roots with root knot nematodes are dramatic. As a result of the nematode feeding, large galls or knots form throughout the root systems of infected plants. The galls can be anywhere from 1 to 20 millimeters in size. The galls on the roots limit the plant's ability to absorb and transport water and nutrients to the rest of the plant. Consequently, the plant produces less due to the inadequate water and nutrients the plants can absorb from the soil. Some symptoms of nematode infestation due to this include stunted growth, wilting, and leaf chlorosis. So I drew a picture of pepper plants. So this is a healthy pepper plant, and then this is a pepper plant that has root knot nematodes. So you can see the chlorosis, you can see the leaf wilting and the stunted growth. And I just used colored pencils and, pen and a pencil to draw this. Um, these symptoms are also symptoms of many other problems. So the best way to recognize root knot nematodes is to dig up a few plants with symptoms and examine the roots for galls. So I decided to make a model of the underground symptoms of root knot nematodes since examining the galls is important in the recognition of root knot nematode. So this is what I created. So how I did this, I used air dry modeling clay. So I used this and it's in brown so that I didn't have to worry about painting the roots brown. And so at first I made roots. I just formed them, I put gauze on them and then I let them dry for a few days. After they dried fully, I connected them to the stem and then after that dried, I painted the stem green with some paint. Um, I did have some problems with the roots staying to the stem. I guess they were too heavy, so I had to use um, my hot glue gun to hot glue some um, roots back to the stem. But the most significant and dramatic symptom is galls. And so I have galls presented everywhere throughout um, the roots, so I have them varying in sizes. They're like small, and then I have large galls. And so um, that's how they're presented on the roots with root knot nematode. So this is my pro project, and thank you for watching.